Hello and welcome back, my spring sproings. How you doing today? Regen farming. That's the question that we need to answer today. First of all, is it possible? Does it make you money? Uh, how do you do it? Uh, there's a lot of different questions that we really just need to, to answer about the game. So if you guys don't even know what regen farming is, um, basically, uh, in BTD5, back in the days, man, in the early days of BTD5, there was a way to make infinite money. What you did was you stunned the balloons for, you stunned regen balloons forever by sending them backwards or something like that and just making sure none actually leaked through the back of your, uh, screen. So wizards, tornado wizards, or even using distraction ninjas or something like that to send the balloons all the way back would give you eventually infinite money. You could just let it run, 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 boom. You could beat any map, no problem whatsoever. Sometimes it took a little bit of money to get that regen farm going. So the question is today, is can we do this? Can we do regen farming, and can we do it for on the cheap? So what I did was I picked a level where regen balloons were going to start coming out early on in the game. Now, this is not always going to happen. Um, there are uh, some random levels where there's regen... Uh, balloons coming in. I think round like 17 or 18 has some regen balloons. And then for sure round 30 I know has some regen leads in it. So at the wor worst case scenario you can always do it on round 30 and start making tons and tons of money, right? Well, well, well. So, uh, the first thing I wanted to try was just with the Ice Wizard, alright? And I felt like the Ice Wizard was a very reasonable tower to try doing uh, regen farming. And what I noticed is, is that he can kind of do it but it doesn't make you any money. Now, if you notice, what he does is he basically stuns the balloons almost in the exact same spot, uh, basically infinitely, but the regen balloons die just a tiny bit too quickly. So, overall, just making this guy go into infinite popping power, or infinite money, is just kind of out of the question with the Ice Wizard. But the question is, can you make extra money? So if you actually look very, very closely at how many balloons we're popping over here, you can see we're actually not making any extra money. Yes, when we pop a balloon that we've never popped before, we are making a dollar. But until we pop that last balloon right there, we're not making any extra money. So, uh, I heard from the bird, I heard the word that, uh, that this was possible that you could make extra money. So I think that Ninja Kiwi recently updated it so regen farming was not possible. And a fairly interesting twist of events right here. So with the Ice King, by himself, as just a, uh, some way to make extra money, it's really not going to be possible, right? We're, we're not going to make billions upon billions of dollars, even if we stunned the balloons for a long time. There's really no point to doing it. We're not making any extra dollars over here. So I guess the next question is, is there any other ways that we could make some extra money? And indeed, there are some extra ways you can make some money. But it's mostly with BMO. So BMO, if you guys don't know, BMO is uh, if you basically pay the $5 to unlock, um, like, everything, or I forget what it is, it's just like Finn Starter Pack or something like that. It removes the forced ads, which was my favorite thing ever. I just basically sent like, okay, I'm paying $5 to get Bloons Adventure Time. That was like my thing. So, uh, what he did was I spent the 5 bucks, and I got, uh, uh, I think some sort of medallion, I got a couple fin cakes, and then I got uh, BMO over here. So BMO is one of the best ways to make extra money. If you pop BMO down here, uh, BMO can save up to $1,000, and the more money you spend on the two little upgrades uh, gives you more money over time. So I'm going to show you guys BMO in a second, but I also want to talk about different ways to possibly stun the balloons forever. Now, the Ice King, you can tell, we have not done it where we can stun the balloons forever. We're just stunning them for a little bit longer. Alright, just a little bit longer. Like, it's not crazy, it's just a little bit of help over here. Um, but definitely not forever. Now, this isn't a good map to stun, either. There's actually a lot of other maps that could work just a little bit better than the Ice King currently is working for us. Uh, but that's not all that important, if you ask me. So... Uh, I just wanted to pick a level that was uh, you know, obviously meant for regen farming. So finally we pop BMO down here, and as you can tell, if we spend the 300 bucks, spend the 500 bucks, eventually it makes $4 per second or so. And uh, if you're stunning the balloons, you know, slowing them down to two or even three times, making each round last longer, well, first of all, that's annoying to have to deal with that. But it will make you more money with BMO right here. So, uh, you know, once you get going up in here, you're going to realize that 
uh, making a couple extra thousand dollars really isn't that difficult. So if it's a level that you're like barely able to survive and you really need just that little tiny bit of extra money right there, this might be a strategy for you. This is not a strategy where you're going to start off your game just like, oh god, like I can barely beat silvers, I can barely beat gold, and I'm just going to jump in and beat an impossible level. That's just not going to happen over here, guys. This is kind of out of question. But what I will say is there is another way to do it, guys. There's another way to stall forever. What you need to do is you need to get the right trinkets on the right people. Get something that sends the balloons backwards and put it on a, a person that can't pop lead balloons. Wait till lead balloons come out and then bam. You basically got something that can send lead balloons back but doesn't actually pop the balloons. I have not tested this out yet because I don't have the right trinket to do it yet, but I have, again, heard the, bird, the word from the bird that this may be a possible way to do it. So check it out for me, man. If you have the trinkets already that, uh, allow, you to pop, that allow you to send balloons backwards but don't pop lead balloons, um, I kind of want to see it in action. Now, you can really see the regen, like how, how much we slow down these regen balloons once we get to the higher tier balloons. Anything below a zebra... Uh, but especially higher than a, a pink or a black or something like that seems to work out really well. Also, against ceramic balloons, just having the ability to hit them ten times before they pop over here just allows us to get so much gosh darn extra money over here. So I know this was kind of uh, kind of a weird video, but um, I hope you guys enjoyed it anyways. Uh, I know it's not a for sure conclusion video on whether regen farming is 100% possible, but what we do know is it doesn't make you any extra money for uh, actually popping, you know, making a regen farm, but allowing yourself to stun the balloons for a really, really long time can make you a bunch of extra money. If this video was something you guys enjoyed, make sure you press that like button for me, subscribe if you haven't, and of course, have a super duper delicious day.